As a portrait photographer, you receive a multitude of requests, from natural group shots to close-up headshots. Good portrait photography captures the feeling and emotion of a subject, and can only happen if your subject is comfortable and relaxed. Having the right lens is important for making this happen. Whether it's a zoom lens for capturing your subject unaware or getting a natural reaction, or a fixed lens for more creative portraiture. As with all styles of photography, composition is essential, so you need to think about your framing in order to get the perfect shot. As a general rule of thumb, images taken horizontally are best when shooting a person's head and shoulders or two people standing together. However, for most portrait photos from the waist up, vertical shots will fill the frame better and allow you to incorporate a beautiful blurred background behind the subject. It's also good to think about what direction the light is coming from, as it will play an important part in how the final photograph will look. Light from behind you, the photographer, will give you good, even light, or to the side of the subject, will give you a more creative image. Always be aware of where the light is coming from, as light shining in people's eyes will cause them to squint, potentially ruining the shot. Remember to check how much light is available. This needs to be taken into account when selecting the best settings for the camera. In terms of lenses, one of the key things you want to think about is depth of field. Essentially, this means choosing a lens that gives you the ability to blur the background. This helps the subject stand out and avoids anything in the background distracting the eye away from the subject. To achieve a blurred background, you'll want to use a wide aperture setting of 2.8 or larger. The most common portrait lenses are prime or fixed lenses. A 50mm or 85mm are the most popular. Although prime lenses are popular portrait lenses, if you want to capture someone in a candid setting, a zoom lens would be advisable. For example, if you want to capture a portrait at a party or a wedding from a distance, a focal length of 85mm or longer would be perfect. Combined with a wide aperture, this will help your subject stand out.